take you out to Brooks Stadium, CCU, trying to keep their dominance over Southern Conference foe Furman. Coastal would get on the board first. Alex Ross, five-yard touchdown pass to Thomas Posiello. E, get those feet down. Yeah, six nothing. Shauna clears. Head coach Joe Moglia decides to go for two. Quarterback Dalton Demos makes it happen. Behind some great blocking, takes it in. It's eight nothing. CCU. Later in the first quarter, crazy play. Ross fakes the handoff, then throws a lateral back to wide receiver Matt Hazel. Hazel runs down the sidelines into the zone. Puts Coastal on top, 14-0. Furman wakes up late in the quarter. Richard Feature breaks to the outside, hurdles a defender, and scores on a 30-yard scamper. Cuts CCU's lead to 14-7. Coastal punched another one in the zone in the second quarter. Lorenzo Talaferro scores from short range and gives the shots a 20-7 halftime lead. But Furman not finished. Third quarter, Paladins rally. Hank McLeod bangs it in the paint from two yards out, brings Furman within six of the lead. But Coastal scored again, and then it's Furman right back. Reese Hannon throws complete to Gary Robinson, crossing route, takes it 23 yards for the touchdown. Furman now trails 28-21 later. Coastal goes in hurry-up mode. D'Angelo Henderson up the middle, crosses the plane on the goal line before he fumbled. Coastal goes up 35-21. Furman scored, then got the ball back, going for the game-tying drive, but Colton Blackburn comes up big with a sack. Coastal Carolina hangs on to beat Furman 35-28 the final. Shauna clears improved to 2-0 on the season. So we're going to try to enjoy this win as much as we possibly can. Tomorrow we got to got to correct our mistakes. We got to get ready for Eastern Kentucky. What were you happy about? I like the fact that we won. That worked out okay.